This story began when I worked at a leading company in 2014. At that time I was working as a junior secretary but a year later I was appointed as main secretary because the previous one was diagnosed with cancer and had to leave the company. My boss is 44 years old, has a wife, and has two sons. He has a good image as a boss, is very polite and charismatic. Meanwhile, I have a charming face, hot body, and am in a long-distance relationship with my lover. In the beginning, everything went very well and professionally. I always prepare what the boss needs, including following his business trips. My lover and I still often communicate and even do virtual adult things by exchanging vulgar photos. My relationship with my boss started when I accidentally sent the vulgar photo to his WhatsApp. At that time, there was no delete messages to all feature. While I was worried, I finally reopened the application and saw that the message had a blue tick. I cursed myself, berated my stupidity that did not preview the name of the profile to which I will post the photo. My heart was beating fast, I felt weak as if all the blood was pouring down on my legs. I took a deep breath and tried to be brave enough to send a sorry, wrong sending message. Soon the message was a blue tick, which means he hasn't closed my WhatsApp profile. He didn't reply to my messages. I panicked even more and didn't know where to put my face when I met him tomorrow. The next day, I decided to go to the office early. All night I couldn't sleep, worried about what to say when I met him. Moreover, recently I was appointed chief secretary, what if I get fired because of my bad behavior? My mind is messed up. Before going to the boss's room I decided to go to the bathroom. Seeing the condition of my face and especially gathering all the intentions as well as the courage to apologize for my stupidity. I went out and sat at a table near his room. Over and over again I glanced at my watch to see how much more time he was coming. My boss is a punctual person, he always comes at the same time. So, it is not difficult to know when he will arrive. When I glanced at my watch which I don't know for the umpteenth time, his steps began to sound closer. I stood up and tidied the clothes, he opened the door, good morning, he said with a smile and walked into his room. I just smiled and answered his greeting as usual. Today I have to apologize, I intend. During that one day, he looked very ordinary, did not indicate anything strange. I really respect him, I repeatedly peek into his room to apologize but the word seems difficult to escape from my lips. One day has almost passed, when he came out of the room and stopped at my desk, he asked, what time are you coming home? We'll soon be home sir, I replied. Can you accompany me to drink coffee? He asked. Hearing his invitation, I thought that this is the right time for me to apologize. I accept the invitation. We went down and entered one of the coffee shops in the lobby. After ordering coffee, I opened up the chat about the Ms. Sending incident. I haven't finished talking, he has interrupted my conversation, forget about it, I understand you have the LDR, I have deleted the photo, he said. I respect him more and more. Since that day, we have become more close and even carried away outside the scope of the office. Several times I was invited to his home to meet his family. He is also very attentive, so he often sends short messages as a way to show it. There are things that make me comfortable around him, he is very good at building the atmosphere with his jokes. I often burst out laughing when he was joking. It may sound wrong, after a while I fall into the trap. Everything about my boss entered into my memory, I often fantasized about him. It's crazy, at that time I already had a lover, our relationship was long enough and he already had a family. But I really couldn't throw everything about him even though I tried over and over. Our relationship intensified, but no one in the office knew about it. We are very professional at work and with a good image of my boss who is far from negative scandals. When it was a holiday, I was invited to have lunch together at one of the restaurants. I agreed to his invitation and when I came he was already sitting there waiting for me. After lunch we went to a nearby hotel. From there this forbidden relationship started, he became not only a lover to me but also a brother and mentor to my life. He is very gentleman and knows how to treat women. During the loving relationship with him, I received not only a salary but also a substantial second salary. Our relationship lasted two years, early 2015 to 2017 and had to end when my lover returned from Singapore. 
It's quite difficult to have that forbidden relationship if my lover is in the same city. Especially after several months of his return he proposed to me. Of course I accepted his proposal, so as not to arouse suspicion towards me. But deep in my heart I feel very sad. The proposal made me have to break up with my beloved boss. I was upset and confused, what if suddenly I miss him? I keep that feeling and try to act normal in front of my lover. After much thought, I finally decided to talk to my lover. What if I resign from work? May? I asked, my lover agreed and said that he supports all my decisions. It's hard to write a resign letter when you have a feeling with your boss. But I could not possibly disappoint my lover and choose someone who is already married. I can't see a harmonious family being destroyed just because of me. I put a resign letter on my boss's desk, when he read it he looked very sad. During my last day of work, he shut himself in his office and did not see me. I invited him to my wedding, but he didn't come. He just sent a bouquet of flowers and an envelope containing a check for thousands of dollars without a letter in it. Our relationship is over, but the sadness is still felt today.